of being. You're gonna be so proud of me, of yourself. I'm kind of tearing up right now. I did not expect to be like this. And I think this is the part where I might be failing. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna see if I failed or succeeded in my 2020 reading goals. for today because I honestly do not know how well I have performed during this disastrous year. <laughs> Over a year ago I made a video called my 2020 bookish reading goals something along the lines of that and I have been meaning to find out whether I actually succeeded or not. As probably a lot of you know I am a huge mood reader but I also read quite slowly so I don't always have the most extreme reading goals for myself. Maybe. Maybe. I'll do that for 2021, but you know, you'll have to wait for my 2021 reading goals video. Okay, so I'm on my channel right now and let's go to my videos. Okay, where is it? I think it's, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Woo! I remember a couple of challenges very vaguely, but I honestly have no clue. I mean, this is a nine and a half minute long video. It's probably a lot of me just talking bullshit, <laughs> but let's watch it and find out together if I did it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Today I will be talking to you guys about my 2020 bookish goals. And see at the end of the year if I did everything that I promised myself to do. Let's just start with the general goal. I do participate in the Goodreads challenge. I know that some people don't. They just do not want to like pressure themselves into reading a certain amount of books. So I do keep it at a very realistic goal. I do not make it like for instance a goal to read 50 books a year. Spoiler alert, I might do that in 2021. <laughs> That is why my goal for 2020 is to read 35 books. For this- Ooh, Okay. A bean, you're gonna be so proud of me. Of yourself. I'm gonna have a look at my Goodreads right now and see how many books I've read until so far. The day that I'm recording this is on December 13th and until so far I have read 45 books. Honestly, and I think a lot of you guys agree with me on this, I haven't read as many books as I have done in 2020. I've read so much more but i mean i guess that's due to one big thing that's going on in the world right now let's not talk about that <laughs> on to my next one another goal is to read at least five fantasy books so like five out of the 35 i believe it's just a very small portion and it will probably be doable okay five fantasy books i think i definitely did that but let's count it until so far i see the promise a graphic novel by avatar and i mean that's pretty much fantasy i have oh man this is i think definitely really easy i have read three v.e schwab books in the darker shade of magic series i read the poppy war which is fantasy i read daughter of the burning city which is also kind of a fantasy style book the girl of ink and stars i read the six of crows duology i mean i've definitely read more than five fantasy books this year and I've been loving it so much more. I always feel really intimidated by fantasy. It's just a little harder to get into than just like a contemporary novel because you already know the world in a contemporary book but in a fantasy you need to know the whole magic system and just so many characters that are being introduced to you. I did that. Pretty proud of myself. Two goals and I've both succeeded in them until so far. Then something that I'm like very hesitant about but it kind of depends on your enthusiasm that is to make a book twitter i've heard so many of my friends <laughs> this is more of like a general goal but i have made a book twitter uh, i don't love spending time on twitter but you can find me there sometimes i'm just not super super active on it my handle is the same as like my channel name so sabine's book nook next goal is something that i never thought i would do because i'm such a collector i collect things like so incredibly much and it's difficult for me to get rid of things so my next goal is to unhaul all of the books that I do not feel excited about anymore or books that I've just never ever gonna reread. Okay, I've definitely done that. I think I filmed one or two unhaul videos. I will leave a link to either one of them. I will pop it up somewhere here on the screen if you're interested in watching me unhaul some books. I have unhauled, I think around 40 books. The amount of physical books that I have that I still need to read and that I've owned for so, so long is getting out of hand. And then the last general bookish related goal is to create my own bookmarks and sell them oh wait 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 i wasn't finished talking on my etsy shop i have been talking about this potential etsy shop to all of my friends for over a year and i'm very much a talker instead of a doer this is so 
nice to see. I also did that. Like all the general bookish goals I have succeeded in and I think definitely the one that I'm the most proud of is having my Etsy shop and you guys are so amazing and it has been so wonderful to see your support and to see you guys buy my stuff. Um, I'm kind of tearing up right now. I did not expect to be like this. I think I've created seven bookmarks. I have created two notepads and stickers and sticker sheets. And every single time that one of you guys buy my stuff, it just warms my heart. And I'm so excited to see what I will come up with in 2021. I will have much more time on my hands. So hopefully I can grow my Etsy store a bit. It's so nice to see me talk about it in this video and to know how far we've come together with my Etsy shop. And I'm just incredibly thankful. I think these were all the like general bookish goals. And right now I will be going more into like specific books or authors that I wanted to read. And I think this is the part where I might be failing. And then I have four more specific book goals. A series that I absolutely want to finish in 2020 is the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. Oh my god. Goal number one and I've succeeded. I mean here they are the A Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. How many pages would this be in total? About 15 to 1600 pages of this fantasy trilogy. I read this together with Jasmine from Jasmine the Reader and we hosted a read-along for this series. We did some awesome live shows with some really great guests and I'm so proud of myself for finishing a series. I rarely, rarely do that. Well, I'm not really bad at starting a series, but I'm just really bad at finishing one and I think a lot of you guys can relate. It was such a nice push in the back to have hosted a read-along together with someone and to discuss it. It was just really amazing. Okay, yay. I'm so happy. <laughs> and then my second specific bookish goal is to read all of Taylor Jenkins Reads books. Here we have our first failure, ladies and gentlemen. I was obsessed with The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and also Daisy Jones. I even read, what is the other book called again? The one that I gave away to one of my friends and that I read is One True Loves. I really quite enjoyed that. And the only book that I had bought from her back in 2019 that I still needed to read was Forever Interrupted. And the reason why I haven't picked up this book still is because it is quite sad and it is about like losing a partner and just a lot of grief. And I think you just have to be in the right mood if you want to start and like read a book that deals a lot with death and grief. And until so far, I haven't really felt <laughs> that right feeling. And I haven't read one of her books this year. I am so excited to read Malibu Rising next year because that is her upcoming 2021 release. I'm so excited for it, but this one, was a fail. The third specific book goal is to reread all of the Harry Potter books, but then in the illustrated edition, which <laughs> Harry Potter. I still haven't picked up the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire illustrated edition, and I don't know <laughs> if I will do that sometime in the near future. I just feel super, there was something in the air, by the way. I just feel super conflicted about Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling right now, and um, the whole discussion of can you separate the artist from the art? I find that super super difficult and something that I still need to read into a lot because I'm gonna be super transparent and really honest here Harry Potter does have a nostalgic factor for me and I think for a lot of you guys and to see the author of one of your previous favorite series spread so much hate towards transgenders and she just doesn't understand the difference between sex and gender it's just really frustrating and sad to see so I do not have any plans on uh, continuing my reread of Harry Potter and also please let me know in the comments down below how you feel about like J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the whole separating the art from the artist situation. Um, I definitely need to educate myself more on this subject matter, but I always love having a nice discussion with you guys. Hi guys, editing Sabine here as well, filming on my iPad right now, so the quality might look a little different, but I also wanted to add that I'm not gonna buy any more products that in some way will support J.K. Rowling and like Harry Potter. I just don't want to support that woman anymore. I also haven't done that ever since I became aware of her anti-trans views that I really really disagree with. No thank you. <laughs> and also looking at the video right now and talking about the whole J.K. Rowling anti-trans tweets situation has made me realize even more that I definitely need to reduce the amount of Harry Potter books that I have on my shelves because it's really quite prominent right now. If I look at the video that I'm editing and I just I don't want to give Harry Potter that much attention so I will do that definitely soon but I just wanted to say that for right now and um, I'm gonna 
let you guys watch the rest of my video. <laughs> okay, that was my third specific book related goal. I think I know what my fourth is. And honestly, I'm so surprised by the outcome of this video. And then the last goal that I have is to read a Stephen King book. I have a feeling that I will like Stephen King. Oh my god. This was totally not a failure because I also read a Stephen King book. I read Misery by him uh, for a specifically themed reading vlog and I enjoyed it. I did not love it as much as I hoped I would and I also just didn't really know what to expect from it. But yeah, I also succeeded in that. So I think that out of like the five general and four specific bookish goals, I only failed two? I only failed two. That's insane. I was honestly not expecting it. I just feel so surprised by the fact that I've actually succeeded. I think 2020 was a pretty successful reading year. I mean, the year hasn't ended yet, but I'm honestly so excited to see what will happen next year and like the goals that I will be achieving then. Let me know in the comments down below if you expected me to fail or to succeed with my 2020 reading goals. Honestly, I am so surprised, but I'm so happy and it makes me feel extremely motivated. And also let me know the goals that you had for this year and whether you succeeded. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a wonderful time and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>